Okay, sorry, sorry. Before before you get into watching this video, um, hi, Patrick Irish Starfish, probably why you're here. Um, I want you all to know that this was the one v ones from the Chabot versus East Bay, uh, tournament that we held. Uh, we had a following stream for the crew battles between Chabot and East Bay, which you can also watch. It is also on the channel. And while you're at the channel. Maybe click subscribe, watch my other VODs. I do a lot of content and variety, and it's really fun. But I, I'm just here to kind of tell you that this stream, this this thing, is a bit cut up at parts. It's not perfect. A few matches had to be skipped due to internet issues and the fact that we had to clip some things together. So please bear in mind that. And if not, go over to twitch.tv slash iris underscore starfish. Uh, links are in the description, and I hope you enjoy this. Anyways, let me not keep you to it. Um, you, uh, enjoy the tournament and enjoy my wonderful commentating. <laughs> Got a funny. I don't know what I left. Losers. Stop the battle. Okay. Honey, man. I need to pull up the scores later, but it's fine. We only got houses. Hard? I remember that. I am here. Sinia versus. Who is that? Is that I? Um. Honestly, I might have to stop my beautiful commentator. I do not know the score, I believe it. So it's playing this game at this point, literally. Yeah, let's see that. Oh my god, anyone. Anyway. Is this Blinker's history? No. Alright, I'll just take over for a second. I gotta take something. Ugh. Close to It's fine. So we have a Bylus versus Lucina. Looking like the Bylus is winning right now. Let's go. Let's see. Cena's at 123. Oh, and she just died. All right. The Chabot versus East Bay Cruise Battle it was really close. One song at the end. Let's see. Can Lucina close off the stock to make it even, or is uh, Buzz gonna take uh, the two stock to lead advantage and win it like that? Ooh. Punish? Also, well, Zina trying her best to get the kill and gets the kill, but it's at 94%. So, it's, right now, it's, it's more looking like Bali's game. So, let's see. Can we see the punch up right now?
Chat, we have a real rep rouser right now. A real rip ruser. Uh, special names. People have won their matches. Uh, Jesse Homestay defeated me 2 to 0. Um, JB took their match against the Stinos 2 to 0. Currently got matches going. We still have Elkies versus Timur. Which is really interesting. Can you win the other match? Oh, 90% sure? Yeah. We'll figure it out as we go. As Incineroar comes back, Elkies Incineroar was pretty interesting in the other tournament. Do you agree? Yeah. That's a weird match. Incineroar can be really good and also be really bad. It's kind of just Incineroar. If you play well. If you play well, you, you win the game match. But if you don't know how to play, you're like, you know, if you butt it, you can lose to Incineroar badly. Yeah, okay, so... That's honestly really true. So we're trying to see how many matches we get. It seems like the brackets are pretty small today, but we do have losers, which I'm in for real. Hopefully I can take a, a game at least tonight. Hopefully, like last time. I, Hopefully we're four. <laughs> you know Cass? One of their family members wish we could was one of their younger siblings. So I, I need to win a match, bro. I need to win a match. Throw real quick so you can find me and then you take the win. Dude, dude, listen. Listen, listen, if I fight you, if I fight you, you gotta do key rules. Do one. Do one. Oh, Typhoshi lock. Typhoshi! It's called Typhoshi one. Okay, we already got a bunch of matches set up and ready. Oh my god. Okay, so now that we've seen all the competitors here today, most of them fight, and we know most of what they are, there's no other newcomers. Who do you have your hopes for? Who, who do you want to see? Who do you want to fight? Honestly, I'm hoping just to fight anyone realistically and have a good time. And hopefully try to win a match, because realistically, that's all I want. Just to win at least one match. That's so based on you. You can just call it the gay skin. Well, I feel like I've seen that name before. Probably. Um, but I... I don't know. I, for people who I want to win, obviously, you kind of want JB to go for that two streak. JB definitely has it in him. JB, JB winning, dude. JB keeping that streak alive. And honestly, I do kind of want the loop and JB win back. I, I, I'm very interested, though. So. Guys, I'm just, I'm just talking in the mic here. What's up? Currently back to the fight. 126 on Incineroar, but it all depends if they have the thing. Matching it up to 57%. Sorry for talking away from the match for a bit, but it seems it is Violet as they countered. Oh my god! Elkies is a chance to grow. Hi, Elkies. I don't know, I just really... You're cool. Very swag. Damn, Samuel taking the match against Elkies. A surprise! Uh, you guys looking at my man Juan? Back down to me. It went somewhere, dog. Got it. I'm just, wait, I'm just waiting to see who I fight again. I have to prepare myself mentally. Honestly, I might just keep the names the same. I, I don't know if I'm bothering to fix it later because I can't use my actual keyboard due to the lack of USB ports. Samuel actually won against the uh, Elkies. Samuel won against Elkies. Yeah, so Elkies is in losers, surprisingly. That's crazy. JB, come here, come here. You, you get, gotta get you here for the small interview. Champion here, hold on. Okay, okay. You are the winner of the 1v1s from last time, the big tournament that we have on the channel. How do you feel? How do you feel coming back to this all? Um, that's East Bay was coming, um, knowing that they have some challenging characters like DDD and Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. That's worth uh, another challenge. Um, 
One was, in fact, against their Mewtwo. Oh, you won against the Mewtwo 2 0? Interesting. Bracket? Uh, he was a great Mewtwo. Gotta give a lot of credit to him. I mean, I'm just assuming he did not know the Robin matchup. But. Oh, you play Robin. You play Robin, I think, a lot differently. Um, but we have we have a lot of the oh hello. Uh, we have the brackets around. We can't show them on stream because they're on a website. Um, but we have them. It's it's really funky. We're currently in the start of it all. Um, so any big names we'll show you here on the on the big board. Um, so uh, it's scuffed. It's scuffed. Come on, we're we're college students. It's scuffed, but we're working on it. Smashville with evil. Oh my god. It's Elky's back again. Oh, on the big screen. Oh my god. It gets the big man. Oh, I'm looking forward to this matchup. I'm looking forward to this. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I just don't want the you know stream to die, like like I, I don't think there's been any connection delay right now. So I, I'm, we know we know the crew battle is salvageable. All right, cool, cool, cool. Back to it, folks. Oh my god, nothing was seen at all. They're not oh, actually, they literally did. Stream didn't see that one. Go for the trip. Pokemon Stadium. Classic court. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm excited for your guys' match. My favorite competitor. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Is this a loop? Oh my god. Oh. Pokemon. Take, taking after the person who defeated them, they're playing Violet. Back to the Mewtwo. Three, I'm personally two, hoping for an Incineroar versus Mewtwo matchup because Pokemon. Um, speaking of which, unrelated, uh, Pokemon's a master now. I mean, Ash is the master, so good for that. Your Pokemon week. Uh, if you guys are getting new Pokemon games, tell me which one you're getting. I'm getting Scarlet. I don't know if I'm getting both, but I'm maining Scarlet. Back to it. Projectiles versus honestly heavy weapons. Violet is such a Pilot is the character ever. Yep. Okay, well, you know, you guys are gonna have fun with
right stream on team. We're here watching a Meta Knight versus a. So far, the Mewtwo is up two stocks. Got a really nice pair on the Mewtwo, the Meta Knight. Put the sponsor of the day, Ray Title Legend, 150. Real. Did you ever want to play a console like fighting? <laughs> God, are you gonna really play? I said I don't have. I am broke. Oh, don't! They haven't paid me. Game. You're playing Saitama. Look at these two players going at it. Why is my controller still? I'll be right back soon. Also, just speak. <laughs> yeah, I'm an engineer. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am now taking over the mic. So, you see, I want to promote my mix, my mixtape real quick. So, um, right now, my mixtape is in regards to all the Mewtwo haters, because Mewtwo is clearly high tier, but y'all clearly don't think that. And there's a couple of people in Japan who think he's a high tier. I agree with them. People who out here in the States think he's low tier. Y'all are y'all part of the problem. So, let's, let's, let's start to fix that real quick. All right. So, let's give a number, reason number one of why Mewtwo is good. The Mewtwo hype, the reason why it exists, guess what? Thick thighs. Would you have any other Pokemon that does that? I don't think so. Thick thighs. All right. So, I mean, you don't have to, like, r really be into Mewtwo like that. But, you know. <laughs> Where is this even going? I have no idea. Um, so, how's everyone doing up in the chat? Uh, let me know. Uh, how's everyone doing? Type in something. Interact with me. Not hearing anything. Give me something here. Give me something to work with. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Where's the Twitch chat? Where's the Twitch chat? Where's the history on this thing? My channels, my drops. What if I just go to Discord real quick? And then we just type in the Twitch stream.
Ellen. Are you on stream, Ellen? Hello. Is he trying to Hello. Care? Is he trying to care? Hmm? Alan. Bro, I got gift by the side. Senor Ale. Oh, wait, he's right there. Uh, Juan, this guy's sticky. You see, he's trying to care. Bracket? You want to see the bracket? No. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks. I don't know where the bracket's at. Uh, Alan, I don't know. Oh, we should kiss. I, whoa, who said that? Faded than a hoe? Who the <laughs> tank is pillow? What the hell? What the heck does me? This thing is so... Wait a minute, we're not looking at the live feed. Oh, there it is. I took a W chat. I took a W. Okay, holy shit. From YouTube. Okay, we're back. We're back to We're back to it. Samuel versus Little, Little Mac? 
hold up. This is an interesting play. Little Mac by Samu. Samu's beaten Elkies from what I've like obtained. And that Elkies has lost another match. So, you know, Samuel's on the up and come up this year. Like getting JB real even last match and almost winning if the recovery wasn't out of rage. So holy shit. Back to it, 73% to 83. Little Mac already down a stock pretty bad. I'm Alan. Oh, what's up, Alan? Alan, I want a match. I want a match, baby. Okay, back to it. Little Mac does recover. Does he get the KO punch off? 105 to 93. He dodges the throw. Oh, but he misses the KO punch. Oh, and gets punished for it. Does he recover? Does he recover? He does not. Back down to it. JB was, I don't know if you were, were you here for the last one? The last tournament? JB was the winner. Oh my god. The little Mac. The little Mac doing pretty well. Real, real. Sorry if there's not much commentating this time, guys. I am actually doing stuff in this tournament instead of sitting and commentating, which is fair. The heal off, 70%. The trace of little Mac honestly is working bad for Samuel. As JB is just punishing as much as he can. 78% on a low stock. Unless Lil Mac can get that KO punch off, we we shall just see. The recovery and the punish. Yikes. Oh, I think JB takes it there. Samuel, back to losers. Take your time. I am. I am in it. Hello, chat. I am. I am in it. I am in it. I'm hoping to do well. If I beat John. I'm gonna be good. Oh my God! It's the boy. I believe in you. I'm back on commentating for a bit, boys, until my next match. We're gonna commentate this entire. We're gonna commentate this entire one. See a Rob fighting Yoshi over there. Typhoshi the Yoshi. Welcome, Rob. It goes good. How are you? Did great matches earlier today. Crew battle was so good. Do 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 do. Stretching out beyond time. You're welcome, bro. I don't know. It's, listen, it's just kind of the smash foot. Uh, the, the back thing. The back little button. Yeah, you got to hold that. And, uh, no. This usually just kind of happens. Gonna go? Oh, sh okay. Okay, we're going. Not on the big screen.
One one. Yeah. Oh, facts, right? Right, yeah, I gotta get back to commentating. I, I yeah, it was it was a tactical fluke. Oh, Q onion versus Oh shit, DDD versus Sora. Interesting. Matchup of the day. Oh my god, I gotta get back into the commentator mindset. 50% to 48. The edge game is really strong, especially with what happened right there. Holy shit. Sora's edge game, honestly, real good in this game, but also it's kind of simple to get around it. It's a real double edged sword here, but DDD is DDD. Knocking the ball away. I just, I feel like I, I'm rooting for two one in my, in my heart, but DDD is DDD. A real aggressor of the game. Holy shit. The bi there's bias here. Listen, listen, Q onions my bias. But DDD is it's DDD. You can't even say anything about that. I mean, watch. It's DDD. Oh my god, they're alive! Oh my god! Oh, and they flew the hammer! Oh my god, the, the commentator might be biased, but the gameplay is certainly is not. Oh, they tried to go for it again! Oh my god, the ball kept missing. Oh my fucking god. It's anyone's game right now. It feels like anyone's game. It feels like you can go to anyone. Is it Sora or DD? Oh my god. These two are just fucking rolling around at the speed of sound again. Not Sonic licensed. Holy shit. Holy shit. Sora is bouncing around like a fucking frisbee while DD is playing tennis or something. I don't know what this man's doing with that mallet. Holy shit. Trying to go for the spike. Sora is dancing around him. DD is still trying to go in, hitting him with the hammer as Sora tries to hit him with the projectiles. Goes for the hammer. Dodges. Oh, oh the spike out and Sora can recover. Holy shit. Yo. Oh. Oh. Cloud9, where are you at? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Yuanyin, are you out? Okay. Chat, my loss is illustrated on the thing next to me. I lost the K Wool matchup. The Captain Falcon, I swear to God. God damn it. Alan, if you're in chat, you're getting Captain Falcon. Okay, so, hi chat. Um, I'll, I'm gonna make an Instagram post. Set up. Go.
Oh yeah, shit. Okay, okay, hello, hello. Oh, the Luigi. Pilith oh. versus Luigi. Samuel, I'm excited for both. While I'm taking off the jacket, oh my god, we're already in it. Currently have creative commentary bias for the person who beat my ass, hoping he wins. Luigi is a very interesting match. I don't know, it's, it, Luigi being in this tournament all is an interesting matchup, but Luigi is definitely a grab machine. This is how the game works with him. While Byleth is, again, just kind of Byleth. So Luigi has a lot more to him that could be in terms of strength. Obviously, there's the coin hit, getting the money off him, literally stealing pockets, running someone's pockets. But again, grabs are a big weapon, especially with that plunger and vacuum tool. Oh my god. Uh, I've never played Luigi's Mansion 3. I need to, but god damn it. Oh, uh, waited too long. Luigi already down a stock with a little... Sit on <laughs> Holy shit. All right, Lu Luigi already back in it. Trying to go for it. This is what Luigi sounds like, guys. Oh, going with the grab. Oh, I'm almost hitting it. The parry, the block. Oh, Byleth doing Byleth things. Cancer is what the name is. Getting a traction. Um, as, as Luigi is going in it, trying to fight, but Byleth's defense is too strong. But the headbutt, the signature Luigi headbutt, the spin to win. Not really winning too much today. Oh, the spike. Oh, but he dodges the spike. And he goes with the spin to win. A clever play by Juan. One punch. Dodging around, weaving around. Oh, he's got the ball, the punish. Oh, and he tries to go for the one-up punch to kill. It does not work. Does he go for it again? He dies, and it kills. 74% Luigi. This is the strength of this Luigi. This Luigi could kill you. Luigi is coded with a G, maybe with the sauce, as he might have just lost a stock at 50%. We already saw Luigi kill the stock like this. So he's just gonna get an easy fucking win. But, but either way, like Violet, Violet is in the lead by numbers, and it seems like with the spike, Luigi, he makes it! He, oh my god, a pause in the match! I told you guys, Luigi is just a little goaded! I don't know how that happened, I don't care how that happened. Luigi is, you know, Luigi! -ing. As he bounces around, Byleth is confused. Competitors had to pause. Oh, the spin to win being canceled out. 51 to 38%. The percents are pretty even right now. Oh, okay, okay, well, okay. I, I spoke a little too soon. Trying to dodge the big hit. Did they bait into anything? No, 90%. Luigi. Oh, uh, Luigi recovers still. Oh, oh, the spin to win. Oh my god, this is back in Luigi's court. Holy shit. Holy shit. And the grabs. He's on the edge. He's on the edge. How does he play? The fireball? The grab? Does he go for it? He goes for the weave? The little jabs? The little hunch can do? The little squinkly doinkly? Oh my fucking god. The bow spam. Oh, we hate the pilot sure is the character ever. Oh, Luigi. The hit. Does he go for it? No, it isn't. The combo. He's waiting for it. The pause. What is he doing? What's what? Six is ending one scan. Oh, 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 oh. Each battle, a chance to grow. The heart was racing there. The heart was racing there. Oh, oh. Check. Heart check, yeah, heart check. It's there. Oh. Yeah, see, use K rule. You just won against me. It's not that rusty. Anyways, now to a more mundane matchup. We got Krom versus Violet. Is it Krom? I think it's Krom. I don't really care. It's Roy. It's, that's Roy? Oh, yeah, it is Roy. I'm stupid. I forget what Roy looks like. Roy was previously the character that Juan used last at the end of his tournament uh, fighting in the last tournament. 
And by the way, I don't remember. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember seeing too many battles last tournament, but the server was there. So it's definitely an interesting matchup. Sword fighters, one of a kind, trade the game. We'll see how Roy does. Roy's a bit of a oh, a nice little weave right there. Sheesh. Edge guarding as best he can. Going for it. Oh, he's going to get the bow shot at Roy. Jesus Christ, it is 1-0 by the way, so taking this W, Samuel will proceed uh, more into losers. Roy recovering as best he can, playing edge a lot, but Byleth is just too goaded at the recovery sometimes. Dropping him around with, 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 with an axe? I don't, I don't even know what that weapon is. I do not know, this is losers, this is, this is losers. It's currently one zip. Oh my god. Roy jumping him around. Three to one stock. Not doing too good. Oh, but the recovery misses and one. Oh. Lost three one. Something about Falcon? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a Falcon. The Falcon. And that's it. That's one. Yeah, it's two one. Two zero. Nice. Hey Juan, you want to do a friendly? Huh? Oh, okay, if no one's up, check it for me. Do a friendly for the crowd. I don't think I'm dead last, chat. I don't think I'm dead last. Uh, let me let me let me get let me get let me get chat. Guys, this is a friendly. We're still waiting for the lead to do the same as Bro, at least get a misfire, okay?
No, I know the commentation. I'm just, I'm just itching to play. Oh, chat. Oh, my God. What's the bracket? Yeah, check the bracket. The bracket. Brand new copy of Pokemon uh, Scarlet. Let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna open it right now. This is a violent. Who's gonna win? Ah, 
I live with the rage against the Captain Falcon. Alan, there's your Falcon. Okay, yeah, he's watching. I have a Captain Falcon. Good point. I'll just see if I can hear Ozio versus Ozio versus Cloud. Okay. I don't know with this limit uh, limit on active, it's dangerous for any moment. But Ozio has rage right now, so. It's really tight right now. Any it could be anyone's uh, stock right now. Apparently Kazi is taking the lead by one stock, but Cloud is uh Cloud is not Ooh no, but the combos from Kazi are always going insane, so The Snipe! The Snipe! Holy! We ain't ever seen anything like that before, the Snipes are insane!
We're not playing Captain Falcon though, so how could you? I should have played Lugia against Sora, bruh. COVID off the energy. God damn it. <laughs> the music feels really unfitting for the matchup right now, but Joker versus Falcon. Oh no, it's a fire track. I don't know. Just listen, listen. When I see some when I see Arsen starting to beat the shit out of this guy in a in a in a in a driver's suit, I mean I don't know. He is sexy. So we're back to it. Oh my god. You dude, you should have a music. When do you think you can defend the Like that you have music? Bro. Well, that's what I do. So I want I want I want more of you. That megalo ring. Okay, back to it. Holy shit. Captain Falcon's honestly living up to the what, what looks like the name, uh, Gas. Uh, 119 to 19. Uh, three stocks to one. Arson out. As Falcon is grabbing along. Alan, I hope you're proud. The energy is really strong. The Falcon punch weave. Oh, but the weave! Falcon punch again. Oh, but it's too short as Falcon gets punished. He finna hit it. He finna hit, hit the knee. Hit the knee! Oh, he hits the knee! Uh, I'll, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you when when Alan says he's proud. Pokemon. Pokemon. Evil. All right, back to. Oh God, if we. Three, two, one, go. Honestly, a way worse matchup in my opinion for Falcon. Purely, purely due to the fact of the range. Range can. I'm using. Uh, dude, I'm not even, I'm not even using this. Hot That is embarrassing. Okay, back to it. Uh, already a stock off the back of it. Yeah, he died after he killed me. Bro, he killed me, said I bet. Uh, we're in, we're in best of five brackets, yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it is best of five. Holy shit. As Falcon takes it back already, Alan, give that energy. I'm gonna fucking yell at Alan on Discord. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Chat, I need to do something special for this one. It feels only appropriate that I get called Alan. 
Ты холм где что ли? Холм это было. Дипика. А вот это. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching Falcon Pro right now. Uh, 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 you need to send your energy right now. Send him your energy. I need to send him my energy? How do I send him my energy? You raise your hands to the sky. Send him your energy. He hit the knee. Are you proud of him? He hit yeah, the knee again. Yeah, I'm proud of him. I'm watching. He's him. proud of you. He's proud of you. You gotta win now. You, you can, he says thank you. You can retire after this. <laughs> oh my god, Alan, Alan, you're on stream by the way, say hello. Oh, he lives. Oh, this Falcon recovers. Oh my god. Alan, I'd screen share to you, but do you want me to screen share to you? Uh, no, no, Falcon's doing great. Falcon's doing great right now. You can see it on stream if you click mine. Yeah, he just locked. <laughs> no, no, but I'm watching. I'm in the future. He's winning in the future. It's tied. One oh, stock of P, zero to zero. He just reacted to your knee. Holy shit. No, I saw him doing good. Like, he seems pretty good. He's doing good. No, he's doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him, dude, when he poked that, how about your uh, Kazuya? I'm yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, okay, reconnected. Okay, it, 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 like, it's, it says it reconnected. Yeah. Apparently. I don't think it's any better. Is it better? What the fuck is the change from last time? Literally nothing. Hey, if it works, it's hey, if it works, if it works. Okay. Well, chat, we're we're back. I hope the stream. I honestly, I'm kind of grateful it streams, so now we can have two separate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it over here. I I'll watch you, bro. Yeah, I got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're back into it. I believe this is a losers match, if I am correct. Yes, it is. But it's two people we are seeing. Obviously, talking to Hearth, if you, if you guys noticed the last one. But we are back. We're watching Hearth versus Dinos. DDD versus Byleth. Currently have Byleth. DDD. But I'm okay with whoever wins. I just wish the best of luck to these characters. Oh, I bet it's right over here. Who won? 3 0. 3 0, you? Oh. Allow me to demonstrate. Stop battle. Oh, let's go. There you go. They're going to be fighting Jesse. Uh... Do not know. Three, two, one, okay. Go. JB is still in the match last time I checked. There's a heart going up right here. Uh, don't mind the before match. That was simply an error due to uh, control not shifting. But we are into it. 79% already on Byleth. Pretty interesting. Now, I do not know how Byleth would deal with DD. Remember, these are best of five, chat. Um... It all depends on that. I believe the rest of the tournament is best of five. We hope to get the finale in here. Um, so. Watching as we do. I know, again, 79% to 19. It seems DP is just being an iron wall, a giant heavy character. I'm real Chad. If anyone remembers the Kirby TV show, uh, shout out to you for a minute. Because DDD is amazing in there. Um, but it seems. Oh. I saw something cursed there. But 31% to 105. DDD's losing the edge. It all depends on how they play this edge. DDD's, one of DDD's strength is definitely the edge. They, oh, they're really aggressive with how they move. Oh, but the nice recover. Into a grab. Back on the edge. That spike ball, dude. That spike ball. Oh, 
hitting them straight into a, a nice little bait there. How does Byleth go down? Oh, it looks like that. DD with the spike ball again. Yep, into the head. Love the Might have taken a bit of extra damage, but DD is One of our characters leaving. Um, we shall see how everything goes. Spike ball on its way as DD is still in it. 57% to zero. Let's see how this goes. 3, 10, 22. Spike ball. Oh. Yo, goes. Trying to get to the gluttonous. Oh. Not really working. Club. Oh, into the spike ball again. Oh my god, the spike ball is an oppressive monster. Oh, the shield. DDD using his shield correctly. Not getting broken at all. Get up into the air. Trying to do the classic DD combo. The spike ball again. Back to spike ball oppression. The hammer. Oh, just a second off, the iframes being just enough. As he tries to go for the belly flop into the bi by the grab, 189. The percents are pretty even, but the stocks are not. Worse at this time, as the ball hits over to the side. Anyone's stock right now. And it seems Byleth tried to hit the combo again, and DDD just knows when to dodge it. Can DDD hit the recover? Yes, he can. Byleth failing the edge guard with the iframes, just missing it. He goes for it. Oh, nice little club hit. 148 to 100. Deity should be out, but you know how heavy he's. And the spike ball again. An honest menace to society. As they go for the spike and it hits. Deity not wanting Byleth to go back on stage. 148. A real soft percentage, but just getting some chip damage with something like the spike balls are doing big for the rest of the match. As he tries to split the spike. Split the spike ball back at him. Oh my god. It's funny how DD has the same kind of properties as Kirby. Oh, and they recover again. DD can somehow play the ledge so amazingly in this game. Due to them being heavy, it's such an interesting way to see it. Honestly, I should take notes with Bowser. As they finally lose the stock at 166%, almost 40% on Byleth. Oh, not looking too good. It could be worse though, luckily. 42% to zero, but two stocks to one is definitely making the situation go worse as it goes. As they keep bouncing up, trying to throw the spike ball again. I will a little bounce into the air. I think he keeps the impression of shield almost fully as by the shield is low. 95% to the name. 109%. As they try to get the thing again, they spike him to the side. EDD taking the first match. Okay, back to it. Real quick chat, I'm gonna go check on the... I just got... Deja Vu. And... Back to it, DD. And Byleth, same match as before. But a fun matchup at that. Only one out of this best. To match two, will DDD take it again with an impressive two stalker? Starting with a spike ball immediately, going into the oppression. Oh, coming nastier and nastier the more I see it. DDD getting some solid hits off. A nice little trade off in the beginning. Nice guarding, edging, obviously. 30% to 23%. Percentage percent to anything nowadays, DDD. It just means anything if Byleth can get those heavy hits off. That's a lot of what Byleth needs. Is those heavy hits as DDD goes for it. Whiffs a grab as they try to go for the stomp. Finally getting the mallet spinner off. The, the forking in the salad, trying to hit him to the side. DDD's and it actually works, failing the recovery from Violet. Violet goes off the edge. DDD getting an early lead with 31% to his name. 68% of Violet gives one of off. The big shot, and they get it off, getting the stock. A nice, literally even Steven matchup for Violet. Immediately getting that stock back after DDD got a little careless. Those Going back to what we've seen before, the nice little edge guarding by DDD and the oppressive nature versus Byleth's defense. Honestly, it all depends on how Byleth can into their big attacks, while DDD has more oppressive overall attacks. 
hitting with the spike while 18 on 1 on 9% just shows how much a match can change for either of these two players. Trying to go for the spike, DDD immediately counters off the edge, 18 to 10. It's almost a complete reversal of what we saw the previous stop. Even with the bow shots, 70% of the DDD. It seems like whenever one loses a stock, the other comes back with about 70% worth of damage. A wild counter as they block the DDD ball for 80%. DDD taking damage himself. Trying to crawl up as Violet just keeps punishing and pushing, pushing and pushing and pushing. DDD fighting back himself, 96% to 38. Keeping the edge on the elusive beast, trying to play it off. Knocks the spike ball back so the edge don't work as well. Using it as almost kind of a shield, winding up the hammer, using it as bait to smack him off to the side. The ball keep going as they try to get the oppressive belly drop. Keeping a ball at every corner of the map. What will DDD do again? Oh, they bounce the ball back again. Not doing as much. The sucking tug into the star, into the whack, up into the air. And DDD takes game two. It's currently 2-0. Two DDD wins. wins. DDD is a monster. The match is still interesting. I'm going to go look at them real quick. The note code. my mic being so ready we are on it we are getting to the final match of the day a scary thought man. He makes the impression that the spike ball hit he does after the bull with 144 percent ddd getting the stock and recovering at zero two stocks zero ddd is taking these matches i can't it's price no wonder he's big God, especially with the small platforms, the consistency is definitely actually worth DDD's damage using one of the platforms. DDD is pacing him up 49 to 60 percent. Let's see how this goes. The spike ball almost hitting again, if only if it did. DDD be, oh, and they whiff twice, whiff three times by the staying alive due to that. Getting a nice cut. Trying to get as much damage as he can, 67 to 66 percent. Let's see how it goes after this. A nice bit of a trade-off from each side. DDD recovering and hitting the stomp, but not killing. Oh my god, DDD finally using the recover as a repressive move. The down B is a killer move. Oh, and the ball does not hit again. 108 to 112. But this Violet 2, they hit the edge guard. Oh, leaning him down, but the ball immediately recovers. Unless they do something drastic here, it's looking like DDD's W. Oh, DDD hits the mallet. Three. Zero DDD. Good job, guys. Looking really good. Pat, our big man is out of the tournament. You did great. You did great. Dino's taking it 3 nothing.
job, Dinah. You are up against whoever wins between Jesse and Insteam. And then after that, the winner of that match will fight JB in... Up. Can you check with me and make sure I'm not dumb? Isn't so so Goosey's here? Does that that, that means Goosey's uh a fi the finals? That was the finals of yeah. Goosey's the winner of the yeah. I know Goosey Goosey won finals though, not grand finals. And I know, but oh, I'm just confused because no one else is in winners. Yeah, it goes to grand. Oh. Yeah, okay, so that was finals, not grand finals. It's either whoever wins between Jesse and Instinos and then Dino So so there's a match over here. Bracket looking, we are at final three matches. One's going on currently. Where's your position? I think We can check when we're done, because we're we're gonna have. I'll probably have Alan do something later. Um, Goosey has won the main bracket. Goosey is the survivor of a uh, regular bracket, and then Losers is currently going on. We have one between Jesse and Stinos, which is a Mewtwo and Daisy. Uh, we have Dinos, who just won against Hearth Samuel, uh, who plays Dedede. JB is in Losers finals. Um, so whoever wins Losers semifinals. Uh, we'll fight JB, and then whoever wins between JB and them will go on to the bracket reset against Goosey. So, good job for Goosey. Goated. Uh, there's nothing really going on right now, so let me play music. I don't want to do some friendlies. Put on some music. I don't know why. Cool. Okay. JB is the last one. JB is the last one? I believe so. I believe JB is carrying back because Hearth, Hearth was the last one. So yes. JB is indeed the last from Chabot. Others are all from East Bay. As far as I know, we got some friendlies going on, but we can't obviously see anything up there. Um, so, uh, if anyone's a Goosey fan, uh, we certainly have a more rounded cast of characters. Last, let me go check in on the other matches, and I'll get back there. If only you were there. I wanted you to be here, Alan. Oh, here. So I'll go check over on the other match. Hero. So that will be ending. is just one what was the what was the score let me let me go grab it real quick let me go.
You're the last one for The stage, the main stage. Set up however you wish. Okay, chat. Hello. We are getting into it. Welcome to, and I believe it is, Losers Semifinals. Yes, this is Losers Semifinals. Whoever does fights JB in Losers Finals, and then we go to Grand Finals. Oh, no, no, we have to see whoever fights JB. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Oh. You too, DDD. I wish you two the best of luck. Oh. Welcome to it, everyone. The Semifinals of Losers. Between two members of their own clan, East Bay, the winners Three, of the bracket system. Two, okay. one, go. Who will win? Best of five. We'll see how it goes. DDD with an impressive start. Both of them are pretty impressive characters with interesting techniques on both of them. One of them is a heavy, though, so we know how this might have turned out. Speed currently means nothing to do with DDD's suffering, honestly. From what we've seen from him and the balls, spike balls. Don't question why I said that that way. Um, we shall see. Currently going on the edge. Both playing the edge. An impressive move again, but currently countered by Mewtwo. As he hits the recovery again, Mewtwo trying to spike him up. Hits the ball away. Doesn't want any of that. As he hits him off immediately. 50% basically to Didi's now. Two stocks. Seven. Mewtwo starting off strong from Tostinos. I want to say Tostinos. I'll be real. Is that okay? Tostinos. Instinos. It's, the, it's, it's similar. Silly ball. The silly ball, yeah. DDD is really impressive with this ball. It's 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 won so many matches in this game, especially when people hit it back. Oh, but the counter back! Oh my god. But Mewtwo, maybe it's from maybe it's because they're from the same area, but the ball seems to be heavily countered by Mewtwo this match. The player is ready for it. As I don't oh, do we even have the brackets? Oh, we hit the brackets too. Man, I didn't even know. I didn't even notice. Oh, as DDD tries to get some chip damage off of Mewtwo, currently two stocks apiece, 69%. Nice. On DDD, as 19%, and immediately lost it after I said it. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. The spike ball is currently bouncing around as DDD tries to be more aggressive to Mewtwo's nick. I, I wonder if we see the Mewtwo stun gun again. I'm very interested in that match. I feel like on DDD it would do a lot, as I think they just did it as I said it. Well, guys, why are you listening to me? I'm, I'm just a commentator. <laughs> 101% to 32. Again, bouncing away the spike ball. Mewtwo really understanding it this match. Again, maybe because they're both from East Bay, but it's anyone's guess to tell at this point. As Mewtwo tries to recover, DDD still on the oppressive. As Mewtwo knocks him around 136. One more tap and DDD's gone, but DDD gets to cover. Keeping a spike ball in play. Guarding as Mewtwo tries to keep it around. Is that no? It's not into any kind of combo. Yes, it is as Mewtwo wins the trade-off. 58% to Mewtwo's name. As DDD is currently down a stock. We've seen this situation with a familiar opponent named Hart. As he tries to go for the counter, Mewtwo hitting the stun ball off. Stun ball? I don't know. Is that like a psychic ball? Not really explained. It's Mewtwo. Uh, <laughs> as 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 DDD keeps on it with that mallet, oh my god, pounding Mewtwo in. Pause. As finally, speaking of that pause, thank you for flying away, Mewtwo, like Team Rocket. As we're back to a 34% to 8. Honestly, pretty even. More even than what we had a few seconds ago. DDD trying to get that impressive in. I don't know if DDD has super armor, but DDD is DDD. Oh, trying to pump. DDD hit the recovery. He does. He is able to recover off this. 58% to 16. Mewtwo just getting whacked around by DDD's mallet and balls. Say that for what you will. Holy shit, as DDD is spinning around, spinning to win, whacking around, covering like a camp, trying to go for the punish, hopefully where it goes to the spin to win. Tries to hit him again, Mewtwo then with the full reflection, tries to go for the up smash, does not work, hits him off the side, 140% on Mewtwo. Does he do something drastic? He does, and it does not work out for him. As he currently hits off, first match going to Mewtwo or Instinos. Good match by both of you.
One day we need to get a mic for like the actual competitors so it could be like, oh, this is what they're banning. And he's like, oh. Guys, I think they're picking me to indeed. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm talking to both of you right now. Love your picks. I find them hella cancerous, but I love your picks because it is not Joker or Byleth. Like, one, no, 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 please. Oh. But it's Min Min. It's like, it's like the principle of it. The necessary evil. Nintendo and Lupin leaving the scene for the day. Good luck to them. Great champs the last match. I got oh, the oppressive. The oppressiveness works as a small possible. I mean, what the hell? It, whoa, it's gonna it's gonna cut the <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish that sentence, holy shit. The spike ball still being oppressive. 97% on D to be early with Mewtwo 6%. Mewtwo is sitting there! He's like, bro, come at me. And it's working as D to still gets the recovery off Mewtwo following suit. Oh, but What's really interesting is Mewtwo's small little psychic balls, that sounds really weird, is knocking back DVDs. Spiky, silly little balls. This is getting worse the more I say it. But, it's a very interesting thing, as he keeps deflecting it! DVD's main course of action during all of this, and, and I say that as Mewtwo gets hit, is currently being mostly deflected by the opponent. It's like that! And then he shoots this fucking psychic ball back out! What the fuck?! I want- Hold it, welcome back- Oh shit! Well, currently we are on uh, loser semifinals. Whoever wins goes to JB, and then whoever wins goes to grand finals against Goosey. I guess we're. Hello, chap. Oh my god, this DDD at 188 versus 112 on Mewtwo. You fight whoever wins. Mewtwo getting the first hit, and it's. Oh my god, they're still both at three stocks. It is anyone's game. If DDD gets pressed like that. Do one more hit, and honestly, it's over for Mewtwo's third stock. The ball do anything. A little second. Oh, but he didn't eat it, but he gets the roll off. He slacks on him a little. This is not Snorlax. It's the DDD. As he gets the hit, 25%. We are currently pretty even here, folks. Mewtwo immediately using those iframes to the small advantage he has. Trying to get DDD off into a combo on the corner. Not really working as DDD is just rolling around, maybe going timber even. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own commentary. This is terrible. JB, make sure bow proud. Hey, hey. Yeah, that, that's a uh, up there in the corner. JB, can we get chat at me? Oh, the psychic stun, but it misses. He whips the psychic stun. I look away for two seconds. Oh, where's my fucking go? Oh my god. He did you rolling on him, man. He doesn't even want to look at the screen to pay attention to him. 90% to 58. I think DDD is going to make Mewtwo pay for stunning him. As the second ball hits again, not deflecting this time, tries to beat Mewtwo into it. Does not work. 117%. Heavy characters do not apply to them. You could be at 200%. And if you whack them hard enough, it does not matter. Deflecting the psychic ball with his own spiky ball. 95% to the spike. Going up as DDD recovers. Mewtwo has to do a full charge up. Not killing, killing DDD because he jumped up. Oh. Oh, you did? Well, you know, a fair mistake. As the ball hits, uh, listen, if DDD gets this hit off early, which he does with the spike, the spike ball sticking to the stage. Mewtwo will cover that. Oh, okay, you can. And hitting with the giant hammer. 25% again. They are back to it. Oh, my God. Mewtwo and DDD, everyone. This is like Snorlax with a hammer versus me. The, the guys, this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I love this sequel. Um, with a nice grab from DDD, the ball trying to be oppressive once again, as he just kind of sits there for a moment, pondering, is this the match I want to fight today? Yes, it is. 78% to 29%. We'll see how well it does, as he almost whiffs the recovery, but does not uh, enough to push Mewtwo off the edge. Does it work with it? He tries to whip him around, he gets a bit of the shield off, 90% to 37%. 48%, both at stocks, hitting with the spiky ball again. Mewtwo is getting a little careless as the shield recovers again, trying to punch him off. I don't know what that move is. Moving Mewtwo around, recovering again. This is, this is anyone's stock, folks. He's at 106, but does that matter? It might. It all depends on how Mewtwo plays this. Not charging up a spiky ball. He goes around. DDD playing around. Attacking that hand. Ball. The ball's bouncing. Tries to bait it again. But we go too far for DDD. Does he eat the ball? Does he eat the ball? He does not eat the ball. He drops the guard. As DDD is currently flailing around, he goes for the spot off the edge again, and he gets it! As Mewtwo is gone, I believe it is 1-1 one, one now. That's true, that's true. Score 1-1. One, one.
All I've eaten today is that making it in the back. It's all right. I appreciate you, Luke. Oh, uh, yeah, I can call my mom. Oh, thank you. Actually, I mean, depending on how fast these go, oh, uh, I might need a red. We'll see. My mom said, like, after four, she can. Yeah. One, go. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Lucas, what the fuck? I have not seen this all day. I made the last I've seen dinos. Not dinos. You know, split. a very interesting change. Kind of funny how they're kind of similar with, like, psychic kind of moves, but very interesting because another spellcaster on the scene. Fun. Um, guys, did you know Lucas uh, is, is, is related to Sans Undertale? This is this is a fun fact that everyone should know. Uh, uh, Alan is speaking on how they are Team Lucas currently. Team Instinos. Honestly, I don't know who I'm rooting for. I like both of these players a lot, and Lucas is just another diverse option. I'd be interested to see if Dino gets pressured to change their own character after this. But Didi is working so well. As the spike ball sticks to the side of the stage, and the combo off the spike on this. Oh no! Oh, it's a little beautiful. It brings a tear to my eye. Oh my god! Oh. Huh. As we were watching these two titans fight, does DD hit the recovery? Yes, he does. As they try to go for the PK, freeze on the side, hitting with the spike ball again. Looks a bit too small to get hit by it. Guess what? He hits it again. As Lucas tries to punish the recovery, it's not working well. As the spike ball neutralizes the hit, it makes me really want to play Piranha Plant. Wish? Well, no, the spike ball. Anyways. Going back to it, 164 to 60, currently playing the edge like a fiend, DDD is, as he, as they both recover, and DDD getting more frames, hitting onto the spike ball, Lucas actually surviving, go for it again, turning up the spike, and he finally gets it, getting him off the edge, that persistence is a 3 to 1. Oh my god. Final destination is the place for DDD, as it seems Lucas is currently working against the DDD having three stocks before. Back to it. Pretty even percentage wise. Again, heavies just don't apply to this rule anymore. Um, as we're not getting. Oh my god, the small spike? It does not eventually get hitting. Luckily, DD's recovery is good. I like how they make like two or three of the of the heavies have godlike recoveries and the rest are just to the wind but anyways oh my god the spike bolt pushing him away from the offensive another spike bolt can we get a third can we get the triple oh my god the grab in between he's playing him around recovered oh my god he but he spikes what was that interaction oh and he tries to go for the oppressive oh the upbeat you're right I, I, I was I, I appreciate the silly, the funny, the goofy, but with Lucas at 91 percent, DDD is at 26. Can you see the upbeat? That's so true. Uh, I, I've seen I've seen the upbeat used. Oh my God, doing it again, 100 percent. This is anyone's match as the edge guarding spike ball. Oh my God, and Lucas was in a disadvantage at first, but DDD is currently falling for it. So hook, line, and sinker, like the penguin he is. The spike ball just standing to the ground. What is it doing? No, oh, they're trying to go for the sunk. I think get the PK freeze to the side, and Lucas takes it. And Stinio is making the three stop comeback. Currently two to one. Basically. Lucas insane, yep, yeah, pretty insane. No character switch this time. Okay, DDD and Mewtwo on Pokemon Stadium, the obviously most base stadium thing in the entire game. Competitively, of course, competitively. We all know Wario where we Or one of the Minecraft stages. Battlefield. Going for the sudden cut again. Honestly, appreciate it last match. As Mewtwo being really impressive on the side does not matter. Shit to DDD. Tries to go for it again. Sh shits the fucking spike ball out. I mean, shoots. I mean, sh shut up. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. Shut up, Alpha Man. DDD coming back. Percentage pretty even. I need the air. Very profound. Don't break boom. I have a. 
Oh my god. I'm trying to use this again. GB is currently playing the side. Oh my god. He does not go for the ground pound aspect of it. He actually recovers normally for ultimately and for nothing. At 83%. And the stock. This isn't mean anything to DD. Maybe okay, not. We shall see as the match continues. Bro, a street fighter. God damn. It's a real of them, honestly. As, as, 64 to set to 99. DDD can just not get that third stock from Mewtwo as he turns the turret to the hammer and ultimately gets stopped. Mewtwo going for the stun again. That recovery being an interesting option to loop your opponent and loop around them. The spike ball bouncing around like the thing it is. He tries to go for the heavy punish. It's not work. The spike ball doing nothing again as he gets the mallet swinger up there. An interesting change of pace. DDD at 80% while Mewtwo is at zero. One oh four percent to seventeen percent. Um, we shall see how this goes. I'm not proud of it, I'm just gonna survive. 120 percent to forty one. Oh my god, DD recovers again! A small moment to punish. It does not work as you two whips again, knocking the spike ball back. Hey, watch this guys, spike ball. Okay, you know I thought that would work that time. <laughs> spike ball! Oh my god, the spike ball bouncing around, stopping Mewtwo from comboing. Does he get the suck off? Not the suck off. Energy ball. He does! He gets the energy ball off. He didn't need to be off. Huh? Chat. Oh, that shadow ball? Dude, I'm stupid. 65% <laughs> to 20%. Me finally realizing what shadow ball looks like. Oh my god. What is happening off the screen? He goes for the aggressive. Bro, he was going to the back screen. As Mewtwo tries to pump the ball. Like you both. A nice punish from DDD. 62%. Anyone's game at this point. Oh my god, I'm an actual punish. A nice grab by DDD. You see that usually at the third stock, actually. Where it's the third Another spike going to the ground. We only hope to see what happens with this. But DDD keeps it. Keeps Mewtwo away from them. 101 to 36. Can, can DDD take it downtown just like Mewtwo? Both whipping their edge guard. Good distance from each other. That's how. Does he go high? High or low? Higher or lower? He goes for the spike ball. The block and he tries to punish off of it. It's not working. Mewtwo charging the shadow ball with a fiend. DDD blocking it so not mattering. 129%. Mewtwo gets a fiend hit. And it's currently tied 2-2 two two as the spike ball lands close to it. Oh my god. Yes. Two? Two. Yeah. You won first, you won second, you won third, you won. Wait. No. Wait, hold up. Win? I think it's four. No, it's three and one. Yeah, you just won. Oh, I'm stupid, bro. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. I don't know why my brain jumped to two. It was the Lucas change. Oh, shit. Congratulations, I'm pretty sure you're top five. So, good job on that. Goated. Oh, you guys got hella representation. Goosey won, Go Goosey won main bracket. You, you gotta stay right there, dude. Yeah, you're not done. Your, your next match is against JB. B to one. JB. I know there was. Chat, we are at losers final. King's return. We shall return to actual names above it, but we will see. This could depend on a lot of things. JB, the returning champion from the last tournament. We shall see if he carries Shabo's name. A lot of pressure, but a lot of pressure. We shall see what happens. JB, mug You got this. Want to want to practice that? Want to run a practice? Want to run a practice? Hold on, look up. Uh, Stop the 
Sato. Corona Flash. Piranha Plant versus Robin, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we just got ourselves a first stock right there. Robin, of course, doing Robin things and Piranha Plant doing Piranha Plant things. My commentary is very godlike. Anyways, moving on from there. Better than anyone, we got Robin back air right here. Looks like our competitors are being stopped right now. They're being asked which type of OnlyFans girl they prefer. And it looks like they're about to currently vote on that decision. Um, clearly, the commentary is pretty terrible. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's the chat doing? Let me know how y'all doing. Let me know. Let me know. That is not chat. There we go. That is chat. Alrighty, alrighty. Taking, trying to care. Shout out to him. Shout out to Alan. And we have ourselves again. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to play. Yeah. We are in losers finals. Whoever wins this match will go on to grand finals. Holy shit! Pick paste music. Listen, I want nothing below the controller. I want your A buttons up and your B buttons down. I want your sticks forward and not backwards. I want your shields up and I want your parries at the ready. You two versus Robin. A very interesting matchup. Honestly, very interesting to see how this goes. 
purely based on, again, projectile game. We were very interesting against DDD. You two knew it down to the wire. But Robin, I do not know how many practice sets these two have done. But, you know, JB is, again, again, for the, for, for the hundredth time I'm stating it on stream, he winner of the last Smash tournament, so his name deserves some respect. And honestly, so does Ghost for, you know, making it this far in the tourney and being awesome and funny. Pretty funny, man. And just keeping the pressure on. Oh my god. They are smacking Robin around. Do they get an early first stock off of JB? Maybe. Playing it around. Using the psychic moves to their advantage. Whipping that move again. I think that's the B. Might be crazy. Um, but whipping it again. If they don't whip it a third time, as they get him up, phone on the table. You know they're already. 51% on YouTube. Pretty good start, honestly. All things considered. But we know JB. JB can make a comeback. It all depends on how this Mewtwo acts, too. Mewtwo knocking them down. Oh, but barely getting the recovery off. Robin stays on stage. Uh, as Mewtwo's oppression keeps going. 90%. God damn. Oh, and Mewtwo loses their recovery in time. Losing a stock early. JB capitalize off this? No, because they lose a the stock again. Who the one? It is already... Jesus Christ. 41%. Both of these two getting small hits off leads have big damage on each. Getting a big shadow ball off. I knew the name this time. 50 to 56%. It's pretty even in terms of damage. Getting the projectile hit. Are we rating? Are we going to see an L Thunder? Are we going to see an L Thunder? Oh, we're going to see a Heart Thunder. Sadly, not the same thing. But we are waiting for those big beams. The fire being an impressive option for them. As we see JB hit the recovery as well. Mewtwo capitalizing off of the hang up, basing the iframes. Mewtwo going down, getting the recovery. Can they get past the fireball? They can. And pass a JB. What's up? Thunder. Oh, hitting it again! Oh my god. Immediately taking the first game, two stocks to one. And Stinos, Mewtwo, taking the first dub out of this best of five. Ooh, sheesh. KK Slider, Bubblegum KK, Bubblegum KK. Okay. okay, this is a pretty good one. Back to it, any character switches? No. Do you know these players? Well, okay, well, I thought I did, and then Stinos picked Lucas that one time and won. Mewtwo versus Robin again, but the Robin color change. This is big on JB's part. We all know how different the Robin color changes. It's like an entirely different character. <laughs> Back to it, 6-9, and then 9-6 for a moment. That was kind of funny. 14-31 uh, to 31 as the music blares in the background. This stage being very interesting, especially on times of finals. See how each of them play. Each going off each other pretty sporadically. As we see 65% already being magic drain. The book going in the heart fire going in for another oppressive thing. As we just runs in the way using, I don't know, in the thunder move. Other matches going on in the background as JB hits the recovery. YouTube watching as it goes on. 41 to 86. Pretty decent start for both competitors. 57. A nice trade off for both. Oh my god! And a 74% stock off Mewtwo. Robin is back in. JB has learned his opponent. Is what I would say until Mewtwo beat his ass into the corner. 80% my ass. 27% on each. These opponents are really good with iframes, invincibility, and how to just rush off the rip. All depends on that. And also all depends on how certain moves mess each other up. Small little dents to their plan to throw their damage and chance out the window. It is currently back even again. Projectiles going crazy for each of them. Fire to Shadow Ball. 45% to 70. As Robin is hopping around and Mewtwo is falling like a puppy trying to catch the mailman. 76% to 78, 94. Does Mewtwo use the stock? No, he's not. Dodging the Thunder move. A fully charged. And he gets the move off. Okay. Projectile into the shit off. Trying to get the kill off for a bit of Four Shadow Balls charged up. And they kill with the recovery on Mewtwo. Hitting them again. Does Mewtwo punish in time? No, he's not getting hit with an L Thunder for a mean 32%. Trying to punish while he's on the stage does not work as Robin Christian tries to hit him with the as he tries to move around. Hitting though up in the air, 77%. Mewtwo getting a piece up with talks on JB's name. Trying to go to the side. Mewtwo looking to be almost defeated. The recovery hits well. The fire hits and the JB classic going 1 1 each. JB winning with two stocks this time. A nice little trade off from what we saw before. Robin showing up with fucking Marth? And Mark. Cool. 
stage we're going to. Gosh, yeah. Costume for love. Costume. Stop the battle. Robin. You too. What is up? Thank you. Robin the Mewtwo again. By the way, I would like to mention that the color change was impactful. I was gone. What was the score? The score is currently one apiece. Uh, each ending with two stocks. This is Loser's Finals. As we see it, Loser's Finals. Mewtwo immediately going into it. Trying to get that edge guard. Bouncing around. Oh my god. A mean 60% already? And do they capitalize off it? This is the Mewtwo strength. And they do! Getting an early stop. Not even taking a hit of damage off! God, JB got pieced immediately. Can JB do the same to Mewtwo? Trying it, keeping their oppressive tactics in flight. Mewtwo is counting as best he can, hitting a Shadow Ball off. Maybe he's trying to hit some more as he does. Backing him around like this is the thing of Pixelmon. Oh my god. Currently even in terms of percentage, but again, not in terms of stock, is what I would say if uh, hit that and attack right there. Mewtwo trying to do his best as JB himself alive as best they can. Not getting spiked down off the stage. 104 to 25% is drastic for these two being both important light characters. But it is, it all depends on what you do with ability. More damage or taking damage from the ball, it all depends. That's a nice little game of Darty. I, I feel like, you know, you know those little games where there's an in-between? I feel like you just change that to like guard or something. That, that'd be an interesting game. 132 to 30 though. Again, two stocks to two. Oh my god, JB keeping the impressive on guessing and baiting the recovery option as we does again trying to get up close and JB punishes trying to hit the arc fire again not predicting that Mewtwo recovery Mewtwo just bouncing around teleporting and zipping around has a nice punish Mewtwo almost dead JB getting the recover back oh they hit the fire they hit the fire but do they do they, punish like they do oh my god off stage fire hit two 132 of Mewtwo oh my god it is back to even folks anyone's game at this point Zero, zero, one stock to one stock, a fully charged Shadow Ball in the back pocket on YouTube, which does connect for 39 damage. Woo! That's a baseball. Um, hitting with an L Thunder, 45. Returning the damage in kind as the L Thunder hit, he dodges the Mewtwo recovery option. Not the recovery, but you know what I meant. The combo off the recovery. As Mewtwo tries to hit him back with a bit of a 65%. Oh, seeing a Robin heal this entire game is kind of interesting. Um, as he charges up another Elf Thunder, a classic technique. Characters charging off the side of the map is a very interesting technique. As he dodges the Elf Fire, blocks the projectile! A very interesting play against JB, who uses projectiles as a bit of a specialty. Pounding him around, a grab. Off the side, Mewtwo at 84, JB at 82. Again, anyone's game here at this point. Keeping the stick on hand, the book on hand as well. Mewtwo knocks off the stage. Do they keep on it? No, they don't, as JB keeps on. And Mewtwo does not whiff the recovery. He goes around the stage. Of course he does. He can fly. And as Mewtwo is just floating around, JB is here. 97, 96. Again, pretty even. Holy shit. And it seems like Mewtwo takes the advantage here. 97 to 104. Two games. It is not over yet, but Instinos is currently in the lead. Two to one. Can JB make the comeback here, or is Instinos going to Grand Finals? We get JB love in the chat. Just, just a kid. No, nothing against you, Instinos. You two and Robin. We're seeing how this goes. Whoever wins has to fight. What does he play? Young Link. Young Link. The the winner of the uh, the winner of the what's we call it? Not not. Thank you for what you said. Uh, I, I'm meaning um. The squads today. Are, are... My brain is not remembering the name for it. But the the one who had his team win today is actually the winner of finals. It's a little poetic, as these two are facing off two of the honestly best players on each opposing side. As we see them off. Again, trading off damage like it's. Alan, I mean JB. Alan says he loves you. Stay strong. He is bouncing around. Dipping and zapping all over, Mewtwo taking that small hit, 86 to 82. Robin currently failing on damage, but immediately making it up by punishing the Mewtwo recovery. A big strength of JB at the moment is punishing Mewtwo's recovery like that, getting the grab off, trying to hit the fire again. Mewtwo trying to weave that time as he tries to bait it. 
charging up a Shadow Ball to its peak, and he blocks the Shadow Ball instantly, pushing Mewtwo back as JB hops around like a hop it itself. But Mewtwo gets the punish, 110, two to three stocks. As Mewtwo charges up a Shadow Ball again, not fully, but charges up mostly for the heck of it, hits the Shadow Ball, combos off of it twice, 47% tries to keep going on it, as JB tries to punish again, fails, whips, 60 to 110, oh my god, man, if only I was this good at making the numbers work in math class, holy shit. As he keeps the fire up, he keeps the projectile game strong, trying to bait their catch, and Mewtwo just being too strong with that tail, bro, what the hell do, question mark? as he's bouncing around, both hopping around, JB finally getting the hit to the air. 74% damage in the process is not good, especially since Mewtwo is 110 off death. But you know what can you do sometimes, as JB is in the prime position, trying to hit the fireball, hitting an elf thunder, getting that shield down, keeping them at bay as they each trade off. JB winning the competition due to the fire's nature of elf fire. Elf fire? Elf, I, don't, I don't fully know the thing name. As, as Mewtwo gets the ball, does it work? No, it does not. JB still at two stocks. As they get the Elf Thunder, pushing Mewtwo off the side of the stage, hitting the Shadow Ball. Mewtwo gets a small bit of distance, charging up another Shadow Ball, not to its peak, but he hits JB off the side, which works after JB tries to get up, I think. Don't count me on that. Yep, okay. Don't count me on that. Thank you. <laughs> As Shadow Ball going up. JB trying to punish as fast as he can to not make up for stocks. He seemingly does. Mewtwo not going off stage, charging up a Shadow Ball because he can. Hits the fire again. Does he do the thing we see before? He almost does. Hitting with a projectile and one of his signature thunder moves. And he does! 23%! This is the best JB has looked all match currently. Mewtwo keeping it up with a 34%. If Mewtwo doesn't get one of his saucy shadow combos off, I think we'll be all good. Um... Stenos talking both the heel finally gets hit off 38% to 46 making the match even again and Stenos has spoken before how he doesn't want to be a camp bitch with Mewtwo and I respect it so much but also JB's Robin is just one of those goats of the game 76% JB making it real right now getting around it all shadow ball into the thunder it's anyone's game 76 and 79 percent does he kill with the recovery no he does not he whiffs again the grab onto the side it does not kill he goes for the thunder does he hit the fire he does not he goes for the punish also whiffs and he goes off the side Mewtwo's on the edge again is he gonna do something no he's not because jb's gonna whiff the, the punish as he hits him with a projectile again the fire does he combo off of it Mewtwo is not dead at 142 he does not kill with the recovery what the fuck Mewtwo you might be a legendary Pokemon, but you should take this out. Oh, oh, and he kills with the recovery! Woo! 2-2. Two, two. Anyone's All game at this point. Mewtwo versus JV. And Robin versus Instinos. The the All coming to a peak with this next match. Who will win? That's the question everyone's asking themselves. So the returning champion or the up-and-coming Mewtwo? Both have each other down at this point. They're the most comfortable. Oh my god. Pixel! Oh my god. Hi, Pixel! Oh my god. Thanks so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Thanks for coming in. Oh my god. Ah, hello, hello, hello. Brown Autumn Seal. Fairy Cat. The Pixel. Hey, yo, welcome in. You guys already know Pixel. No, no, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Been here for a couple hours. We are at Losers Finals. I'm about to go into Grand Finals for the Smash Tournament here at Chabot College, which is today. I hope everyone's good today. Holy shit. Welcome in as we have Mewtwo versus Robin again. Two to two. Whoever wins this match moves on to Grand Finals. And it's a pretty intense match, so I hope everyone from Pixel Stream is doing it today. Please tell me how Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was, because I will be playing that soon on my channel. So, um, I, I'm very interested. Speaking of which, there is a Pokemon on screen, obviously, which makes sense. Um, Mewtwo starting with an impressive thing. Robin getting the heal off again, and just going down to 0% again. Throwing the projectile to stop Mewtwo from charging the Shadow Ball. Immediately counters up. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, chat. I'm trying to keep up with the game. Um, I feel really bad. Um, but I hope, I, again, I hope your stream is good. No, I keep talking. 84% to 25%. We shall see how this goes. This is competitive smash if I've ever seen it. Keeping the edge guard, Mewtwo recovers on stage with the teleport. Going with the aggressive strike, 95% to 49. We shall see how it each goes. Does Mewtwo go with the tail whip? He does not, as he tries to kill with the recovery again. 53 to 95. Any good ledge combo pretty much means stock depletion. 91 to 95, especially now at this point. 
SP is dope. Has a lot of performance issues, but I absolutely adore it. Has so many good. Me and my partner are playing it together. So real of you. I hope you're having fun with that. What's your starter? Thank you for telling me, by the way. Because, yeah, I hope to play it soon. Because uh, my friends got me in, so I need to play it. Uh, I I'm a Scarlet person, but I also go Fu Coco. Uh, going up again. Mewtwo charging up. Oh my god, a nice little punish. The 105. Mewtwo keeps his third stock as JB loses the first stock. Not using the iframes as best he can. Shadow Ball being fully charged up. 34% to 105. It is. Oh my god. Almost almost 50% off rip for JB. As Mewtwo is not going down that easily. I gotta look down because I need to sort out my wavelength. I hope stream goes well. I hope you enjoy SV as well. Also, Faxley. Faxley. Okay, fair enough. That's a fair pick. That seems like a new pick. Please take care, Pixel. Have fun setting things up. I should talk to you more soon. Please stay safe. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa. Okay, as we get back. Pixel raid. London! Hi, London. Welcome in. I know that face. Welcome in. 146 to 82. Yikes! Back to it. JP taking 100 off rip with the iframes of Mewtwo. But it's still anyone's game. JP has gone out of a pickle before. But 2 to 1 stocks. Close enough. This is as close as it goes. Remember, whoever wins this goes to Grand Finals. I know that face. How are we? We are pretty good. A bit tired. Uh, a bit wild. Had a desk appointment today and, you know, commentating these matches. I won a few myself. Um, and doing pretty good just watching the intensity of each match and hoping stream does not die in the process. Oh my god, as the two are playing the edge, not getting spiked up the side, the recovery taking Mewtwo for a bit. Does JB hit the recovery? 81% is not good, but JB is JB. I believe in JB. Holy shit. You see the elf thunder? A nice little pause over there, walking for a second. The controller obviously fucking 49%, 56. The small little taps are doing so much in the way of JB right now. As a small shadow ball hits, Mewtwo trying to hit some kind of grab. He tries to go for the heal, which would be really helpful. JB up in the air. Robin jumping around. Hits the recovery. Mewtwo on the side. Does he punish at all? He tries to go for the punish. The edge guard of the fire. Does he punish the recovery? No, he's not. As he goes down, JB! Out of the tournament. Oh my god. Stinos won, three to two. Going to grand finals, JB. Can't win them all, but you did great, man. Hey, listen, top three, like top three, like, like come on, you're top three. Stinos, the hypest one here. Mewtwo going to fight Young Link in the finals. Here, 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 here. You know what? You know what? Since you're here, here it's, it's good over a bit. It's good over a bit. It's good over a bit. It's good over. That's crazy. The invade. The East Bay Invaders are they winning won. all the they, 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 they schooled us. How are you feeling today? Talk close to the mic. So right now, what I'm currently feeling is adrenaline simply because being in top five is like something I've only ever done twice. So now being uh, close to Grand Finals, this is kind of crazy. I've only ever been here twice. Close to Grand Finals. Oh, yeah, close to Grand Finals. You're in Grand Finals. You are Grand Finals. You were going against the person who won your team the match earlier in the squads. I forgot what it was. Uh, crew battle. Crew battle. Thank you. I f totally forgot about it. You're going up against the guy who beat, who who saved you as a mains young link. Uh, yep. are you planning on pulling out any surprises again? Or are you just playing with sticking to your gun, sticking to Mewtwo? Because you do have the difficult challenge of resetting the bracket. Three wins to him, and it resets, and you just gotta win two times. Um, definitely an easier said than done kind of object objective. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what's going to be interesting is the fact that uh, while I have confusion to reflect all those projectiles, is he going to continue playing like that or is he going to adapt and change his playstyle? That's true. It's very interesting because links are mostly synonymous for their heavy, heavy projectile game. Pretty good counter from that, especially from your skin. Even Robin to an extent. So seeing you adapt to that gives me high hopes. But it also depends on they could probably play someone else other than Young Link, and I think that might decide the game. So I'm wishing you luck. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for, for you because sure. you're also really funny. So 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 good <laughs> luck. Um, let me let me set everything up for you. But ah, uh, my chat, my chat. I feel professional. I feel professional. Good shit for Mr. Mewtwo. That's a good name. Very good shit. Very very excited. Some of Juan's drink. Uh. Okay, I went to the bathroom. Okay, let me let me help. Some uh. I need you. Friend of mine.
so you know everyone so there's Fucking sick if we'll get like a falcon on you. Oh. All right, this is grand finals. If you guys don't know, I believe last time I checked, it is best of five still. Last time I checked, best of five. If, uh, if Mr. Instinos here wins three, gets to reset the bracket, and you guys have to do another set. Also, I kind of want you guys to scoot over a bit so I can see. Over that way. Perfect. And then Kigusi scoot over towards you. If you guys want to get close. I want you guys in the camera frame for real. Uh, just a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, more that. Yeah, perfect. All right, that works. Yeah, you're good. All the way. Yeah, you guys are good. You guys are good. This will be uh, soon uploaded onto my bods channel for my YouTube. True battles and this will try to be separate. I'll have to. My man sitting in luxury in the back. Okay, Mewtwo versus Young Link. This is the matchup we've seen. These two are both from East Bay, the winners of the crew battles, and Young Link was actually the final member uh, down at one stock of the crew battle. So it's very interesting to see how this goes. We've talked to Instinos himself about how we'll win. And again, this is a very interesting, because this is the grand finals with no Shabo members, which is very interesting due to the last one. Actually being a decent mix of East Bay and Shabo, I think it was mostly Shabo heavy though. Uh, I believe Elkies was the most prominent from East Bay. But either way, getting straight to it, aggressive again. I'm interested to see how Young Link will play, because I've only seen them play the once today. And I've not paid attention to many of their other matches. The music actually going a little crazy right now. If only Alan was there for real. True. I, I think Alan could probably make top 10 again, but it all depends. Because, I mean, Elkies, who was top 5 last time, got out, like, pretty relatively early. Um, by Samuel, who, who also got out by Instinct. Or was it Dinah? It was Dinah. Who got... And we'll out. So we shall see. 87%. The stock's being pretty even right now. Stock's a percentage being pretty relatively even. Young Link's interesting. Um, for people in chat, uh, if you have a favorite Link, let me know. Mine's is Toon Link, because uh, he's the Toon. He's really silly. Uh, but 109 to 89%. Young Link currently being on the aggressive, getting the first stock of the finals. The grand finals. Holy shit. The bomb immediately playing in the contact. Does it land? Does it land? No, it blows up in the air, probably. Bo going strong because Mewtwo does a pressure to work well. Trying to spike off the side, it does not work. Mewtwo trying to charge the Shadow Ball a little because the boomerang is heavy on the mark. Trying to hit the Psychic, going in for it. A nice little grab by Mewtwo into the air, not killing, uh, but immediately punished. Also not killing. 157. Mewtwo trying to go for his classic tail whip. Trying to get some oppression on there. The side was wrong. 71% is not looking good for Mewtwo. Trying to de deflecting the arrow, but the bomb also hitting. But sadly, Young Link takes, the takes his own first stock. 80% on Mewtwo is not good, but a nice little parry of the bow is really good. Mewtwo has definitely gone out of situations worse. Similar to JB, they go really well in these kinds of scenarios. It's really interesting to see how one of them will turn out, especially with all the uh, little tools that Young Link has, or any Link has, you know. 
jumping around. It seems like Mewtwo is going to lose the stock soon. 138% to 26. A small hit. Oh my god, the down B doesn't punish enough. It all depends on what happens on this edge, I feel like, right here. Oh, and Mewtwo is able to get out of it in time twice. 156% going to decide if the bomb hit. It does not as Mewtwo gets the punish. 50% on Goosey. Oh my god. We shall see how this all goes. You know what I realized? Every time the characters are actually flipped from the names and the cameras, which I always hate. Doesn't matter. As they both recover. Oh my god, it was right there. Goosey risking it all for that recovery right there. 93% to Mewtwo's one. If Mewtwo can get this stock, it'd be pretty even Steven. I say as he gets pieced up to 31%. You know, I should stop talking. Let me use this. Oh, but the nice little upbeat 31%. Do not count him out of this yet. This is still the first match, folks. Don't expect anything yet. The full charge Shadow Ball on the 41%. 59. Mewtwo playing this edge like a fiddle as the recovery falls. And Instinos immediately gets that comeback. One. Exactly. Oh, is it? Oh, do we not? I'm thinking Steno, dude. <laughs> so how was I? <laughs> Where's the team? Pick that. Those taking the first one again, wanting to say Tostino's pizza rolls. No character change. Making sense, making sense. I do believe that he has the liberty to. But then again, it doesn't really matter. It all depends. Because everything can be null and void depending on Instino's winnings. Remember, if Instino wins two more games, they reset the brackets, and all of the wins Goosey may acquire would be meaningless after that because it would be reset. Um, but 27%, honestly, strong starts for each competitor. 33 to 27. Honestly, classics of the character. Um, both both Link and uh, both Link and Mewtwo having oppressive starts. Uh, Young Link's definitely at, I'd say, a disadvantage here. As for the projectile game on YouTube, I'm going to all depends on how this stuff works. And really, it also depends on how Mewtwo can adapt. Because Young Link's recovery, while solid, and while Young Link, while oppressive, could easily be countered by Mewtwo in his recovery and his oppressive options, as we've seen multiple times before. And his speed is nothing to gawk at. His recovery really mixes up opponents. The only one who I've seen really counter the recovery of Mewtwo was JB, who is now actually currently playing dinos over there to the side of it. And getting the first stock at 128 with a 108 to the name, Goosey takes the first stock again, almost breaking the shield but missing it in time. Oh my god. The, the, they're playing, they're playing footsie right now. Coming around each other. Mewtwo playing the edge, trying to go for the tail thwack as Young Lee tries to hit off the side. The bomb not doing much as he hits the psychic, immediately punished. 23% to the name, staying with it. Oh my god. Mewtwo you two and Goosey, I was going to it. It's Instinctos. You know, it, it all works. It all works. A nice boomerang into this thing. Oh my god. It works rather well for each competitor. Getting a nice grab from you two. It's not punish it up, but it does the... I don't know what... It, like, your way? I don't know. It's something. I don't think it's psychic. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We can't really check the move list. As, as he hits the stun and it kills. Oh my god, he finally hit the stun after maybe three sets? I haven't seen that move in a while be properly did. Especially with Instinto's debut on the board today. I've seen Massive JV and how many times it's been on camera besides moi. Um, 63 to 51%. A pretty decent damage trade-off, but seems like Goosey is losing the confrontation as they do pretty good damage, not killing you two. Oh, but we're but anticipating the move. And the bomb stays on stage. Does it do anything? No, it does not. It's not doing anything to neither of them. As the impression keeps going. The impressive, I meant the oppressive. As Mewtwo keeps spinning around and round and round and round and round. As he gets the stock two to one, taking the second game. Oh my god, he seems to do this really fast. Grand finals. YouTube. No character change again. Back into it. If Instantos wins this next match, the bracket resets, and then there's the true 
finals of this tournament. The East Bay Vision Shabo tournament, honestly, is what I might call this. I don't even have a logo for it. I'll figure that out later. Um, as we go back into it, immediate the Mewtwo, the Mewtwo saucy special. Honestly, I can't remember, but I remember someone calling Mewtwo's throwing things like sauce or something. It was like meatballs. It, it was something like that. I, I don't remember where, but that's what I'm kind of thinking of him for. Oh my god. Oh, young Link hitting that recovery. 71% though. Not doing too good as Mewtwo's oppressive off the side. 15% with the first stop. Holy shit. Those monsters, is going for Grand Finals. The recovery again, mixing Young Link up as Young Link pops off him. The Shadow Ball trade off is going pretty strong. Oh my lord. Mewtwo jumping around as Young Link also continues to bounce around. Jumping up, seems to bounce up. Waggle around. Mewtwo just bouncing up and down and up and down. Young Link barely trying to follow as he gets the parry off. I have not seen that Kamehameha move all day. That'd be really funny if you hit that again. Um, hit him with that Yogi Spooky. Uh, 76% to 75. Stocks are not that even, but again, the percentages are. The classic catch frame is good. The bomb hits! Does not do anything, sadly. But it was a nice attack. As he hits with the tail whack. Goes down, fades the recovery, throws the bomb up, and the recovery out. As Young Lee takes the hill again. Do we see a three stock? Maybe. No, don't count your eggs before they hatch. As Lee can go the oppressive again. 105. Holy shit. Alright, my. Is this getting stale? Maybe not. No, it isn't. I lied. Because, oh my god, Mewtwo's recovered again! The bomb going down, him staying on stage, and Young Link not punishing as the two guard each other. Mewtwo staying on stage! Does the three stock actually happen? He charged up the Shadow Ball. Is he ready for it? Is he ready for it? Um, he whiffs the Shadow Ball immediately. Does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he does. Okay. And the top going down, 20%. Really good performance by Young Link. Does not mean he is out yet, especially at 20%. You can do that with one stock. He gets to around 40. Which he is. Okay, pass. Well, it all depends on how he plays. If you, if you got the skill, you can make... 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 irrelevant. Bomb sticking around. You can dodge him again. Young Link punish that. Slowly, Bloomerang being an oppressive option as he Shadow Balls jumps back on recovery, gets away, starts being more oppressive again. The mini Shadow Balls and his tail being a nice long range option. Look at that thing, Black here. No one question what it looks like, or you will have nightmares. 82 to 67%. You two staying on stage. 67%. Oh my god, Young Link is really close to tying this game up in terms of stocks. Does he hit the play? He does! And he hits the recovery too! Young Link gets not out of it yet. As the two are trading off. 67% by Young Link. A few good hits by Mewtwo, and it could end this all. Does he hit the recovery? The recovery! He ran the recovery out, and he spiked him to be that guy! He was that guy, and the bracket... The bracket reset! Holy shit, this is true grand finals now. Instinos has changed the game, and... Oh my god. Pokemon Stadium 2, the most based stage! Oh. You know how to warm up... You're fine. Yeah, true. Yeah, I should, I should be true. Oh my god, the Young Link skin change. It's about sending a message. Three, two, one, go! Welcome to true grand finals, folks. An immediate start off with a bomb. A nice little trade off for each competitor as they each are going at it 26 to 11 percent. Young Link not giving as much of a good performance anymore as anyone would have thought. YouTube giving a real dominating performance, but this all changed with the challenge of grand finals on the line. The final set of the day, the final set of the tournament. Does it matter as Young Link takes the bomb hit, each trading off with decent percentages to the name? As Young Link does a little boomer combo, boomerang combo, does it again, tries to go for the punish, the bomb playing it really into it. Oh my god, is 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 the dark young link doing something for this man? I feel like it. As he just sits there for a minute, each at a 100 and plus percentage. What the fuck? I need to step a drink there for a minute. It's two trade off, 139 to 113. Definitely an interesting grand finals, much different than what we saw last time. As he hits the shadow ball, which puts him off stage. Oh, it was a bracket reset. 141 to 14. 
you two do well. We always love to see him. We've had it each tournament. First with Lupin, now with Encinos. The underdog story as Young Lee gets a stock at 55%. Not for using Mewtwo. Mewtwo holding onto that bomb as long as he can. The Shadow Ball is playing into a factor. The Mewtwo bomb is so awesome. Awesome. Fucking hits this way. Get the Kamehameha move. Oh, you're warming my heart. As the Thunder tries again. Goes for the projectile to block the... He goes for the move to block the projectile. He goes for the spike down again, and he hits it again! He is throwing this man off the stage like he is a ragdoll! As Mewtwo does a little sauce again, trying to break the kid's shield, hitting him to 34%. Two stocks up. Young Link is being devastated right now. I swore Goosey might have changed characters by now. Maybe they have confidence in themselves, and I'm not going to doubt them for a minute. But currently, Instinos is giving them a run for the money, especially with their movements. As the heaviness is too much for Young Link, especially with a smaller character. I think it just kind of hits a lot heavier on them. Oh my god. Sorry, my bad. 80. Oh. You, you, you drink bin here. Oh my god, getting the recovery. Mewtwo punishes with the grab, does it kill? What the fuck was that move? I've never seen that grab before. That's a really interesting game. As Youngling hits up 118 to 102, it's a very tip, a very tough uphill climb for Young Link. And it's not gonna go uphill as it goes downhill for Young Link. And in it's the first win of the true grand finals, currently keeping up his or nothing win streak. Jesus fucking Christ. The stages. I don't think we get a chance. Did we get a character change? Oh my god. I'm not ready for the end of this. I'm not ready to catch up on my YouTube notes later. I'm not ready for anything. Yeah, fight on pilot wings. earlier and then you found out it was modded yeah <laughs> back to dark young link mewtwo added again no character change a bit surprising you know what's not surprising saving 50 percent more on car insurance with geico no it's not sponsored back to it three stocks a piece let's see how this goes this does goosey finally get a get a win off of Instintos, or does Instintos continue to a five win streak? We shall only see Smashville, a really interesting stage. I always like Smashville as a competitive stage purely due to the platform changing. It changes how someone plays the game. It changes how they punish, it changes how they can recover. It changes a lot, and I found it really interesting. As Mewtwo goes under the stadium again, he just wants to show that he can fly a bit, you know? Why not? A 75% already on Young Link is not good due to the 45% on Mewtwo. Hitting with the Shadow Ball oppressive. The bomb in his hand, does it blow up? It does a bit. Does he combo off of it? No, he does not, as he waits for the, waits for the punish and ultimately does not keep with it. Mewtwo getting back on stage. The bomb trying to be used for oppressive option as the boomerang trying to be as projectile option for Young Link. Kicking him in the face as he cannot go under the stage again. Mewtwo losing the first stock of the match. A good sign for a good sign for Goosey as the bomb blows up in his hand. Shield lowering by each second. The hit gets. Thank you, bro. Oh my God! Sorry, I'm using it for my throat because I remember last time I blew my throat out. <laughs> we'll fill this up. Oh damn! All okay. right. Back to it. 1% on Mewtwo, 6% as Sun Link is just eating those hits to 62%. Holy shit. The Kamehameha! Kamehameha! Oh, oh my god. He hits him with the two piece. The one piece is real. And we get much higher. So high, so high. Please don't tell me I was last. 15! W! Do not get last. Back to it. It's currently a... What? Currently a stock apiece. 54% on Young Link is a big gain for Mewtwo. Oh my god. Alright. 88. 14%. We shall see who takes it here. 88% to 14. It's really Mewtwo's game. Mewtwo's oppression is too strong. Did he do anything saucy? As, as Link finally hits the down move. Getting a grab off as well, keeping the oppression going. Does the bomb hit? It does not hit. Does it? What the fuck? This bomb is immortal! Oh, this is just throw two. I don't know. The Shadow Ball getting charged up. Anyone's game at the moment. And finally ruining the forestry. Goosey finally gets a win down to the wire. Yeah.
Oh, guys, now it is time for our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, I know, dude. One day, one day. Jack in the box, introducing the new Whopper combo meal. The Whopper meal. It, it, it. I am. I'm not used to using my keyboard default mode. Oh my god. Back to the grand finals chat. It is currently 1 1, the closest we've had it so far. And Stinto is finally Stop losing battle. one. What does that mean for the rest of us? Young Ryu I was gonna I was gonna say. Three, two, Back to one. it. A list of one in order here. Uh Riot 17, Takoshi at 16. Me at 15th. Upin at 14. Elki is at 13. Red Team at 12. Huanyin at 11. Asu? Okay. Juan at 9. Grantendo at 7. I guess he's fixed the part at 5. Up. 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 Dino is at 4. JB at 3rd. Third new undecided. Purpose at 1. And Stintos at 2. But we do not know anymore. As going back to the match, 96 to 72. Um, we are seeing the match of the match right now. The match of the match. Mewtwo getting that early 116 kill. Oh my god. 72%. These two just have the trade off. When you get to this level of the game, you have to expect the trade off. You give a little to get a little. You get a little to give a little. That kind of saying. You, you, you're at 100%, but they're dead, you know? And you, you can do a lot being at that percent. The nice projectile hit, the shadow ball into the breaking the shield. Oh my god. Hitting it, hitting it around. YouTube goes around. Oh my god, the knock off the side. Finally getting that hit. Oh my god. This is a category. Josh! What the fuck, Josh? Oh my god. Josh, come here. Josh, come here. Josh, welcome. Oh, he didn't. one person. Carry on. 101 to 33. Uh, there was, it was, it was literally one stock guy. Lost by a stock. This is the grand final zone. Uh, Stintos is from losers, and Goosey is from winners. Young Link versus Mewtwo. Fight me, boost me up to 12 or something. Josh. Alan says hi, Josh. Alan says hi. Sorry, back to the match. Oh my god, it is Kermit King again right now. If Young Link punishes, which he does, 1.2%, what the fuck is that, dude? It is a baseball reset right now. It is anyone's game. Lucy got that win and is trying to stick to his gun. It, there was a change of heart. They went easy before. They went easy on all of us. Do they get the punish? No, they do. And they go to the side, but Mewtwo punishes them for not reaching it. And sadly, the thing is gone, going down 1 to 2. The Stintos taking another W. Oh, no, well. Okay. I doubt at this point, folks, we're getting a character change. But it doesn't matter. Because right now, it can be the game. If the Stintos, the Stintos wins, he wins true grand finals. He's got the music. What's the song? Doing? Nice. Nice. Fair enough. Back to the stage where people go. I feel like the Animal Crossing characters are going to have multiple heart attacks from all these people fighting on their land, but we will not question it. Back to Smash Bros. Seeing how it goes. True Grand Finals. 2-1. to one. And Stinto's in the lead with the bracket reset. 5 wins to 1. The projectile reset. It's currently anyone's game as, yo as Young Link is currently getting peace up with an 87%. Also getting hit by the Kamehameha Mewtwo's usual punish not real working with I don't know what he's doing. He, he did something. He did something, bro. He did, he did something. Mewtwo immediately hits almost 30%. Does he kill at this point? 102 already on Young Link. Yes. As he does, but Young Link is not off the stage yet as he waits for it. Baits it, tries to punish the side, does not punish the recovery. 
moving around. The shield breaking down slowly but surely. Need to train to keep to it. Oh my god, but the tail hits him off. Young Link not dead yet is what I would say if Mewtwo did not combo off of that. And he's trying to dodge, getting rid of the invincibility frames. A smart play by Mewtwo as he tries to even it up, breaking the shield down slowly. That shield is so close. That's a nice little grab from Young Link. Honestly, a really good move of the Link mindset is getting those grabs off. And I'm pretty sure Young Link has the best grab due to his little chain, I think? I might be crazy. I forget if all Links have that. But either way, Young Link keeping up his oppression. Really interesting combo. Two keep fighting each other. Got Mewtwo up and at him. 90%. Does he lose the stock? No, he does not. 65%. The bomb whiffing off the edge. And the nice punish. Mewtwo is still not dead. This guy does not want to die sometimes. A nice little parry by Young Link. Still not dead, Mewtwo. The bomb hits. The Oh my god. The bomb into the boomerang. Into the... Oh my god. A little saucy. Um, but 74% on Young Link is not the best, but we have seen both of these players recover from worse mistakes and worse material, even being at 130 and doing decent damage. Good damage, even. As the two keep blo blocking each other and guarding, Mewtwo hits the recovery. Luckily, with like, a bit of a close one there, iframes are enough to block the bomb. As the two play off the small little stage they have, 92 to 66%. I'm telling you, Lucy does not care anymore. This Young Link is going in. Young Link probably dies faster than Mewtwo, but he hits it, and that means the recovery is too far at that point. His godlike recovery, similar to Yoshi, so it'd be interesting to watch him fight Taifoshi. Dodging the first Shadow Ball. Oh my god, 2 to 1. Does Goosey make it back? And Stento's taking it all, 67 to 21. The bomb combo, comboing off his own bomb, 37 to 67, 80, 37. He hits him down, but does he spike? He tries it. He tries the spike. I kind of felt it in my bones. As he whacks him off the edge, playing edge again, trying to knock him away. I think that's it. Oh, it's not! Young Link's able to recover off that and does not punish enough in time. Mewtwo's tail going through the stage because that makes a lot of sense. As, as they keep bouncing around, Young Link getting pushed to the side more and more. Still two stocks to one. If Young Link can just get a stock now, it might be it might be a small bit of a chance. 94%. It all depends on Mewtwo plays the side and he gets the stock. 94% and Stintos is not playing this easy as the chair scoots back. You know this shit is serious. This shit is in for it. This is Mewtwo. This is the matchup of the ages. We will talk about this for ages. Oh my god, but the boomerang's coming back. Mewtwo playing a bit more defensively now. 35% to 127. If Young Link hits this recovery, it's meaning really good. Which he does. He gets the recovery. And he's playing the edge a bit. He's playing the edge just a, a fun little bit. He's playing it like he's playing with the jungle gyms at school. And he hits the side. Does he hit the thing? He hits the recovery. And he hits the spike. Oh my god, Mewtwo at 92. Does this mean anything to Young Link? Oh my god. The bomb away. He, he predicts it. The bomb to the side. Shield game up as he tries to go for the side beat. Lifts. Goes for the arrow again. The projectile. Shadow Ball charged up. Hits it. 144. To 105. This could be anyone's game. The double arrow strike. Does he punish? No, he does not. Walks the shield. Mewtwo going in. Young Link weaving around him. Trying to go for the arrows again. And he hits it. And he gets it. It's 2 2. The final match of Grand Finals. Oh. oh, my. Game five again. This is the last game. This is for the marbles. In chat, someone just yelled Goosey, so you... Oh. Guys. Guys. Yeah, gotta, gotta pause. This is the last match. This is, this is the last match of Grand Finals, baby! For the second Smash Tournament. Chabot versus fucking East Bay, which at this point is just East Bay Rex Chabot, and East Bay is here. But... Yes, this is the final match. This decides it all. <laughs> JB is gonna run. JB. You should play Wario. Okay. Into it. This is everyone's game. Back at this stage. I forget the name, but we are in it to win it. Youngly getting a nice 27%. 58% off. Instintos realizes the stakes here and is going in. The oppressive Mewtwo is being oppressive. Surprise. You know what's not surprising? Another Geico ad, which I'm not going to say. 90% to 21. Young Link actually recovering. You'd think Young Link could not recover a lot of these things, but when you're a player like... When you're a player like Goosey, you can recover off almost anything. Tries to go for the sidekick to knock him off the stage. Does not work as Mewtwo tries to punish off the edge. Does not work. The B going down. Using the... Using the recovery to get closer to Young Link. Young Link still weaving at 128 to 40%. This is not good for Young Link. But Young Link has proven time and time again that these do not matter to him. 
when you're at this level, it does not matter to you. As the two are trading blow, blow after blow. Mewtwo taking as many hits as he can as Young Link weaves around, around and around. Mewtwo going around, Mewtwo getting the first hit. Young Link finally doing something that Mewtwo kept doing and not dying is what I would say! Unless that happened, which it did! 85% on Mewtwo. Young Link has a lot of chance to capitalize. And does it? He does. We are hoping that Young Link does not SD right now. This is the only hope for Young Link as he blocks the big Shadow Ball. Mewtwo playing the edge again. Mewtwo being an all-rounder, it feels like. The edge being so good. I don't know if this is how Mewtwo's are normally played, but god damn it, it's beautiful to see. 104 by Mewtwo, 3 on Young Link. It is really hard to tell who will take this because it doesn't matter. He can, you, you can hit him like five times and he'd still be alive. But 37%. Mewtwo is starting to piece him up again. Does he adapt? He does with the sidekick. Hitting with the arrow. The arrow whiffs. The boomerang off the stage. He's not punish enough. The bomb trying to reflect. Whiffs the shield as the Shadow Ball hits, getting into a nice little combo for 78%. Goosey not doing good. Goosey needs to get this stock soon and fast. Holy shit. 78% to 137 is not a good combo. As the boomerang hits, maybe disorientating just a little bit. Is that enough time? Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. Is anyone else in here? Okay, everyone watching, yell who you're rooting for. Goosey or Instinos? Ew. Ew, Pokemon fan. Uh, bias, bias. Fair enough. Same spot. 106 to 166. Goosey is still that's fair. Goosey is still going. Oh my god. He's getting hit around. Can Mewtwo die? 177%. And he hits him with the grab. Can Goosey make this comeback? Instintos wants this. Instintos got the reset. He wants this. He wants this now. Young Link will not stay in the way. What is a child to like Pokemon God? A stock. There it is. 36%. We've seen in, we've seen Goosey done this before. Can Young Link do it? Can can they make the predecessor? You have to you have to main Link after this just because the age up. Sixty percent onto it. A nice little trade off. Fifteen percent. Mewtwo has done worse and Young Link has done better. So it all depends. But it, it's so weird. Oh, but Mewtwo hits it. Young Link isn't dead. Oh my God! But does he hit the recovery? He does. Oh my God! And he hits Mewtwo off of it. One eighteen. 39%, 47, it's all about it. the boomerang, he doesn't hit the boomerang combos, but he hits the recovery, the classic Link recovery, oh my god, he's charging up the Shadow Ball, he tries to hit, hit he's trying to distract him with the projectiles, and it kind of works, he keeps charging up the Shadow Ball, and the Shadow Ball hits, and it's over, Instintos wins, Grand Finals, holy shit, let's go, all the way from East Bay, all the way from the bottom of the bracket, Instintos wins, you can look at that camera, Instintos wins, let's go, Let's go. East Bay won, but it was fun. Holy shit. Thanks, man. All right, that was probably the most craziest thing. Oh. Oh my god. That, that's it. It ended there. Cray cray for real. Yeah, definitely. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I hope you enjoyed these streams, the Smash Tournament streams. We hope to do more in the future. I'm glad I could provide both of these. Twitch.tv slash Irish Starfish. W's. W's. This one got streamed a lot better than the other one. And I did better than the other one. So overall, pretty good. 07 to Alan who couldn't come. 07 to the people who couldn't participate. And 07 to the people who did participate. Uh, if you're watching this, this will be uploaded on the Irish Starfish VODs. Uh, or I believe it's Irish Starfish Live, actually. Um, very soon. As soon as I can do the other VODs. So. so, sadly we'll not get another group photo. But we have another champion on the screen. Um, so congratulations to Instinctos, the second winner. Congratulations to Eat Spay, the winner of the crew battles from the earlier stream. Both will be uploaded onto my VODs channel later on in the day. Um, I'm going to go now. I have been Patrick or Irish Starfish. I hope, I hope you all, uh, I hope you, uh, well.
I, 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 I gotta find. Hold up. Yeah. This is it. I hope you all... Oh, shit. I hope you all take care. I will be live soon with, uh... Pokemon. Uh, not today. Definitely too tired for that. I will be live soon with Pokemon. Hopefully Scarlet. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my content. We're doing stuff soon. Okay? Now, please. Take care.